Hi guys, I'm back with a real quick haul for you today. I was out, it's a Saturday, and I was out downtown and I stepped into a local comic book shop that I hadn't stepped into before and I found a couple things and I just wanted to share them with you because these are the kinds of hauls that I really love where you just stumble upon things that just make you really happy. You're not really hunting for them, but they just spark something in you. To, to borrow a phrase that gets tossed around on YouTube a lot or sparks joy, but you know, it just makes you feel good. So I um, went to a place called A New Hope Comics and if you are wondering, yes, I did go all in with the blush today because I do love this blush. So yes, my cheeks are very pink today. I like it. Uh, but I was looking around there and it's, you know, a very small shop. It's got its comics and it's got its uh, vintage toys and tons of Star Wars stuff. So of course I was looking around and I spotted this little guy. The original Hammerhead from the, I don't know, third, fourth wave of Star Wars. As you can see, his box is not mint. Uh, this are These are some like Amazon return stickers. You can see on the back, it's got all of this stuff and it is a bit dented on the bottom and dented around the sides. However, these are the kind of finds that I love. He was $11. I think normally, I think maybe a couple years ago, he was going for like 22. I don't know what he's going for mint now but these are like the perfect finds for me where they're just they're a little bit loved uh, but there's nothing really wrong with them i could take it out of the box if i want i can see maybe if i can pull some of the stickers off if they want to come off or not but it's just so much fun to find that one piece that you're missing from your collection that just is serendipitous because it's from a local shop and you just stumble upon it and it's I don't know. I love it. It's so much fun. So I'm going to pull this guy out and clearly I don't have to worry about box condition. And this is from 2014. I don't really see anything wrong with him. I mean, he has a few like, I don't know, he's got some like paint on his knuckles, but that's about it. I mean, a few paint flaws and other than that, he looks just fine to me. I mean, he's so cute and of course, this is still when you could take them off the stand, so that's awesome, and there's nothing really wrong with the stands. Perfect original stand. I think he's really cute. Obviously, not as detailed as it would be today with, you know, advances in molding and stuff, but I think I love this little guy. Um, I've been looking for him for a long time. Don't want to pay eBay prices. I just don't. Um, but I think $11 for a vintage figure like this in a not-so-perfect box and I'm saying vintage like Funko vintage like a couple of years ago <laughs> uh, so I think he's really cool he is number 37 from the Star Wars collection that's so so long ago isn't it I think they're around 300 now pretty close to it getting pretty close I'm sure with episode 9 they will be right at 300 or 350 <laughs> so this guy is just making my day he's so amazing and I'm so happy to have found him just on a whim so cute and uh, also when I was there I happened upon this which is another this is actual vintage find and it is this 500 piece jigsaw puzzle and you can see it's the ceremony at the end with Luke and Han and Chewie and Leia and R2D2 and C3PO and it's a very odd still from the movie because Luke and Han are just kind of looking off like, like, I don't even know. They just, they look a little bit distracted, but <laughs> it's really cool. I like this. This is the original, it says copyright 1977. I don't know if it's actually from 1977. It might be, um, and it is from Kenner. So it's got the original like logo and all of that. And I haven't opened it up to look at it, but I'll do that now. And so you've got, hopefully all the pieces are there, but if they're not, like, it may never have been put together because some of the pieces are actually still, like, like, not quite die cut. So that's cool. 
so I will put that together eventually. But I love these old puzzles. And it actually has the old sticker from wherever it was from. Kmart. <laughs> from Kmart. Oh, that's awesome. Kmart, $1. Wow, that's, that's, that's some vintage stuff right there. So those are the two things I picked up. I got the hammerhead and I got the jigsaw puzzle. I'm super excited about that and I just wanted to share with you. So let me know down below uh, what vintage figures you like and if there's anything on your list that you're kind of hoping to stumble upon someday. Again, this is one of my favorite things when you're looking for a Funko Pop but not sort of like actively hunting and you just kind of stumble upon it one day and it's just kind of perfect and and then you find a puzzle that's like totally reminds you of your childhood and it's just so amazing so anyway thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have an amazing day whenever you're watching this and i will see you in the next one bye